Revolution now. I think we are really gonna, but we're really starting to see the end of Anthony Fantano's career here because the way he's acted this weekend is literally so fucking vile and disgusting. It's just bizarre that someone who is his age, nearly 40 years old, would act in such a fucking just unacceptable way. Really fucking weird, like, I think he's seriously deteriorating and I need to expose him because this is fucked up. It all started on Anthony Fantano's weekly Twitch stream, Yields on Fridays, where he, he listens to new music that came out the past week or so and gives his initial thoughts on the stream, whatever. It's a total fucking shit show because Anthony Fantano, you know, only cares about uh, pop music because that gets him the most streams. But uh, everyone in the chat is always spamming these indie artists they want him to listen to, which he, he pretends to care about but really ignores. But anyways, this week everyone was spamming, check out Red Veil. Red Veil being a very young, 16 years old, young black very very talented up-and-coming rapper released a new album this past week which I listened to and it's, it's really fucking good okay uh, and everyone must tell him Anthony please check this out please give attention to an indie artist for once chill with the pop stuff and Anthony Fantano finally caves enough people finally were spamming in the chat till they got to him and he listens to Red Veil for like 15 seconds and like is very dismissive already. It seems like he already had like these these critiques in his head that he was already He already had these ideas. He was gonna give to, about it uh, And he's it, really dismissive like lazy critiques calling him an Earl sweatshirt clone, whatever It was just really fucking rude and just not very professional at all And that alone I think is already pretty despicable given the historic Anti-racism protests going around like read the fucking room, dude This is a great opportunity to elevate an indie young up-and-coming black artist and then you're just like dismissing it like whatever with these like really lazy critiques so you can go running back to chasing your clout and listening to pop music whatever uh kind of kind of bizarre behavior but that's uh, that's just the beginning of it his behavior anthony fantano's behavior on twitter after the stream is like where it gets really fucking weird. People on Twitter were understandably pretty pissed off at Fantano for the way he handled this whole Red Veil thing. For example, Dream Boys slash Space Loser said, you didn't give Red Veil a chance. And Anthony Fantano responded like with, with a fucking, a bunch of sleeping emojis like, what are you, fucking 14 years old, dude? And from there, it just kind of spiraled out of control. And there was a bunch of fighting on Twitter about it. And it got to the point where Red Veil himself actually tweeted about it, which I, I have to, I just want to acknowledge for a second. It's very brave because Red Veil is only 16 years old and he's standing up for himself against a fucking 40-year-old with the power to destroy Red Veil's career if he wants to. And Red Veil says, let me give y'all some context. The entire stream where he's listening to music he's refusing to play shit that he doesn't like until he gets to me, where he feels the need to rant about the shit before he even plays it, and overall more disrespectful than the entire stream. So it's exactly what I said, Anthony Fantano just listening to this pop garbage finally gives an indie artist a chance and is just extremely disrespectful. Um, so very brave of Redville to finally stand up for himself. And Anthony Fantano, you know, he could have apologized, he could have just moved on, but he kind of fucking loses his mind. After Red Veil's tweet, Anthony Fantano tweeted, Hey, word of advice. Don't ask for any opinion you don't want to hear, bitch. What the fuck? People on Twitter were pretty quick to call out Anthony Fantano for this very vile behavior. For example, in the replies, at National says, But I guess that's what happens when you let a colonizer that already had his peak try and degrade a kid who had only just begun. At Connor ATW, Hey, can you make your point without using misogynistic language? Thanks. Opinion is fine, dude. Say what you, you know, it's just like, why are you attacking a 16 year old, dude? You're, what are you fucking doing, man? Again, this was, would be a great opportunity for Anthony Fantano to just move on or apologize or anything, okay? But instead, Anthony Fantano has a Twitter meltdown like a fucking child. Redville is 16 years old and Redville is acting way more mature than Anthony Fantano. Anthony Fantano, like, look at this shit. He just, he's just spamming. LOL, you're mad at a melon. Angry in a fruits mentions over an opinion. Sad. Are you done yet? Is the tantrum still going? Mom let you stay up this late? Oh, what now? Bye. Unfollow on your way out. And I, I just want to point out, the, these insults, like, Mom lets you stay up this late, these are insults directed at young people. You know, so it's, I'm, I'm picking up here that he's, like, actually just, like, continuing to attack Redville and attacking him for his age. What? Why is this not on the front page of Pitchwork.com? Fucking 
40-year-old white music critic fucking shits on a 16-year-old up-and-coming black artist. Like, what is this fucking, what is this fucking behavior? So this is absolutely incredibly embarrassing and incredibly cringeworthy. Uh, and I think Anthony Fantana woke up the next morning and realized what he did like oh shit i was a fucking idiot last night so he goes on twitter and goes into damage control mode he tweets at red veil looked up your twitter and found you sorry if you're under the impression anything i said was about or in response to you i don't believe you were asking me for my opinion and was just frustrated at hip hop twitter's tendency to relentlessly beg me for takes and then immediately melt down and attack the moment my opinion doesn't validate theirs this isn't the first time. I wanted them to fuck off and I'm happy they did, but I went about it in a way that made it easy to think it was about you. I just wanna say, this is absolute fucking bullshit. Anthony Fantano's pulling the whole, oh, I wasn't attacking you, Red Veil. I was attacking hip hop Twitter. Sorry if it was about you. Oh, I didn't even see your Twitter. I just found your at now. Fucking bullshit, dude. Your rant was directly targeting, targeting someone who is young with your, oh, mama, you stay up this late? Like, that isn't a direct attack on Red Veil, clearly. I, I think Anthony Van Dino is just fucking lying here, very despicable, and trying to, like, blame another Twitter community. It's just very, it's just very immature, very manipulative bullshit that um, he could have handled way better, better, and he could have just owned up to his mistake but he just kept digging a hole deeper and deeper. Uh, and and honestly, reading these tweets here, it's just like, it feels like I'm reading the tweets of like a fucking imbecile child. I think the fame has gone to Anthony Fantano's head. He's just in full clout chase mode. He's just hungry for power, acting out like a fucking idiot. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, and I'm committed to taking Anthony Fantano down this year. This is Anthony Fantano's last year. We're either going to get his YouTube account deleted. We're going to get him canceled again. We're going to make him irrelevant. My channel is going to surpass him uh, or anyone else's but him. So let's fucking defeat Anthony Fantano once and for all. You know, if you could like and comment on my videos, that's really helpful. Or subscribe if you want to. That's helpful for me. Uh, but anyways, just, you know, fuck Anthony Fantano. This is the end of him. Uh, so let's let's just finish him off, guys. Fuck Anthony Fantano. Punk Revolution now. Thanks for watching.